First of all, next year is uh, the 10th anniversary of uh, Arctic Monkeys. Is that something that deserves to be celebrated? Oh, from when we started? Yeah, from when we started. Yeah, I always... Uh, maybe, yeah, maybe oh, maybe. 10, since 2002, since we formed. Okay, wow. But I always forget, like, it, like, it was like five years since his first gig or something, like last month, mm. this month, I don't know. But I, I never realised. So I don't know what the exact date is of when we started. So maybe we'll celebrate all year. By having a year off. Does the, the, the two periods feel that much different besides all the, the exposure you, you got well, from as a, then, as a band? Yeah, it's hard to say whether it, I'd probably feel this different if I'd have done any other job from 10 years. Mm. Like people change a lot in 10 years, but especially from 16 to 26 or whatever. So, um, yeah, I mean, obviously with the band, a lot's changed and it's all been good so far. If you look to yourself, uh, ten years back, what kind of person do you see? And what's the biggest change you have made so far? A lot bigger. <laughs> and, um, I don't know, probably maybe more confident as a musician. Certainly got better on drums. Because like, you know, when we started the band, we didn't really play as instruments. Was like, you know, playing instruments was a brand new thing to us. So. Hopefully by now we're yeah. a bit better. Of Ten years ago. And for you, what, what 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 do you think is your biggest change you have made in in, in ten years time? Oh uh, yeah, like similar to Matt. Oh well, got better on guitar <laughs> since I don't think I could even play when we first. And as a person, how do you think you've? I don't know. The, 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 the I don't, you can't really. You? Not in a bad oh way. no, no, not in a bad way. But I mean, like you are going to change from. I'm, I mean, I'm sure every. A human changes from being 16 to 26. It's, it's a bit. Like it's a big time in your life to yeah. grow up, no matter what Whether what you do. Yeah. yeah. I suppose you've seen a lot of different places and a lot of different countries, but that affects people differently. I think it just depends what kind of person you are. But I don't think we've took any of the negative parts of that. We've kind of, you know, I might have had. I might not have ate oysters ten years ago, but I don't want that. <laughs> Can you both still recall with what kind of feeling uh, you wanted to play in a band? Has that changed a lot since those ten years? Do you think? Well, I think when we first started, we didn't really know what it was all about. Like being in a band, kind of not unheard of, but like where we lived, we didn't even like we got in a band. So we saw friends in bands, and we're like, oh wow, that's interesting. Like, what? Let's have a go at that. And you didn't know where to start really, like you buy equipment, get in a room and like start working covers out or whatever. So all we wanted then was to just do the next step. So we practice a year before we even did the first gig. Then we do the gig. And then you'd be like, what should we do next? Like, what's this next thing? And you wouldn't have another gig for like another two months or something. Or you'd record some demos. Obviously like things like that change, like the reasons or like the things that we want to achieve. Now, like now, you're in it. It's like I don't know. It's about making good, good records now, rather than doing a good gig. Like obviously, you want to do a good tour and all that stuff. But yeah, it's about bettering yourselves in terms of songwriting and recording. Art. But if you uh, if you're looking to your very first steps in, in into a band, what was that that triggered it to, to play in a band? Was it just uh, you see other people around yeah. to play, or was there Pretty more? Much. Because even like music we listened to then, like at school I listened to like, I didn't really listen to guitar music until I was like 15 or 16 or whatever. And that were first bands like The Strokes that had been popular in England and The Hives and The Vines. And and then you kind of, like that kind of changed how we thought about the stuff. And then, so we kind of learned their songs in the band. But um, there were never any big thing like I want to be playing you know, all over the world or I want to, because you didn't think, you didn't, it just didn't seem like a realistic thing. It was like, we were happy to play in the local pub, and like that was kind of a big achievement. Mm -hmm. What's better, playing in a local pub or for 15,000 people? What feels better? 15,000 people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Yeah. I can imagine that that that, that, that you lose some int intimacy. Yeah, you do. Yeah, but I think because when when we play like like if we go to different countries or we do smaller gigs like. Like this is quite a small one compared to what we do, like so usually or like at home or like a festival. But they both got good and bad things about them. 
like we enjoy it more. Like it's just a different situation. Mm -hmm. And like the more once you've got like four albums done and everything, it seems it makes more sense when you're playing big shows. Because when we had one album and we were, people were saying asked us to do arenas and stuff, it, see, that's why we weren't ready really. Like what are we gonna play for like an hour and a half? Or, like, we've only got one album.